All right, let's see what we can do here. So we're going to crack Rock U without using Rock U. So uh, all I did was took the, um, the Rock U dictionary, piped it through MD5. Uh, so we have a big ass list of MD5 hashes now and let's see what we can do. We lost a few hashes in the conversion, but uh, I think we'll be all right. All right, so most basic, um, let's do a hash cat uh, rock rock you dot hash. Uh, we'll do tack A3, and let's just do five character. So this will do um, all character classes for five positions, but we're going to start doing one, and then we'll do two, and then we'll do three, then we'll do four, then we'll do five. So that's what this increment uh, flag does. So that is one, two, three, four, five. I think we're doing I think we're doing okay. All right, almost 300,000 in 27 seconds. Why not? So let's try. We need to grab. So we don't have anything. Let's, um, we can't do a wiki strip. That would take too long. See if we can find a uh, see if we can find a dictionary. Something small. Um, let's try like all words of ten letters. 
And we want that in a text file. I don't just have a dictionary? Oh yeah, good point. We could use a spell. That's true. Uh, let's grab wiki strip because we can use it regardless. And then, uh, do we have a spell? spells dicts go There we go. Um, so I'm guessing we could probably use the ENUS. Let's do that one. Yeah, maybe that's not a good one. <laughs> maybe without accents? I don't think that one's even going to... That one's going to matter. Um, let's instead, let's go grab. There we go. All right. Let's grab this one. Some random list of words off a of, off a of GitHub. This ought to be interesting. So we're gonna do rock you dot hash, and then feed it words dot text, and let's see what we get. Actually, let's look at what these even look like.
Yeah, no, this will this will work. Okay, that actually wasn't terrible, so that's good. Uh, let's try doing, let's do an A6 and see what we get. And we'll just add, uh, let's just add two digits. Oh, let's just add, yeah, let's do two digits. And then let's also increment. So we exhaust both of those. Oops, that's gonna fail. Yeah, I mean, I guess that works. <laughs> we got 2% just off of that. All right, all right. What if we do, uh, so if we already incremented two spaces, let's not run that again. Let's do, uh, let's do, well, let's just do like, what year did this come out? 2009, right? So let's do 2008. Oh, we're gonna have to trim this hash file too because these load times are are a bit ridiculous. All right, so not a whole lot of two thousand eight passwords. Let's um, we're gonna add uh, remove. And we're also going to do an out file. Uh, we don't need to do an out file because we can do a pop file. So what this is going to do is, uh, so we're going to take um, all these words that are in words.txt. Uh, we're going to add 2009 to it. Actually, let's just do, let's do 2000 uh, digit digit. So that should cover everything from 00, 0 to 99. And then we're going to remove everything that we crack because it's it's going to go in our pop file anyway. And then after that, we'll roll our pop file back and we'll try some. Uh, some rule-based attacks. So we've only got uh, thirteen million seven hundred thousand more hashes to crack. Okay, not a lot. Let's uh, let's do a cut dash d uh, attack f2 on from hashcat.pot file, and we're gonna put that to uh, pot.dict. 
And then let's roll. Instead of doing an A6, let's just do uh, let's do generated rules. And let's do like let's do like five thousand of them. We'll move that remove so we don't have to keep doing it every time we want to change a command line or a run line. Probably should have suppressed output. This is, uh, <laughs> get hit status, but we're not going to see anything. We're up over a million now. So that, <laughs> that got us almost 11%, no, 8, 9%, almost 9%, it's pretty good. Uh, and the great thing is, is that if we do that again, uh, we're going to get a bunch more. But this time we're going to write this, uh, we'll start writing this out to a file so we don't uh, slow down at all. W, uh, we'll call this uh, rocky.out. not W, it's TACO. Slow times are a little bit ridiculous. I think we'll manage. Let's just see what our GPU is doing as well. So down here we'll do like a, a watch tech N5. NVIDIA SMI. So even for MD5, because there's so many hashes, we're still only going at, uh, what's that, 118, 118 million candidates per second. Which is a little bit sad, but uh, you know. All right. So we got 278,000 on that one, or 288,000. So if we do it again, we'll get even more. So you just sit here and you loop this attack. I think after this one we'll just do a uh, maybe just an uppercase. I don't know if you have a, if you have an idea, tell me tell me what you want to try in the chat. And we'll we'll give it a shot and see how many you get.
Alright, so let's try... Uh, let's try upper, just upper casing everything. Wow, we got nothing. Probably because we already had an uppercase in our in our generated rules. Uh, what else can we do? Could try could try doing some truncates. Uh, let's actually do this. No, no, we'll just do the truncate first. So we'll just take one character off the right side of the plain text and see what happens. Normally this is really good if you have a word list that already has uh, uh, like years on the end of it. So if you've already cracked hashes and you know somebody's using like password 2019 and then they use password 2020, you trim one to two positions off and then you fill that with digits and get back to it. All right, so let's roll our cracks because I forgot to do this. We'll roll our cracks back. Uh, back into our word list. I already forgot what I called it, pot.dick. And then because we started writing an out file, we're going to do the same thing for the out file. Uh, actually, we don't need to do that. Yeah, we don't need to do that. All right, so we're going to take um, from the left side, or sorry, from the right side using TAC-K, we're going to truncate the first two positions of the word that's in uh, pot.dict, and then we're going to try and run everything for two positions and see what we get. Yep, that'll do it.
I was actually getting a lot more than I expected it would. Alright, so we're... what? 10.48% in. We've only got a lot more to go. Alright, so if we truncated... if we truncated uh, 2 and it did really well, like, let's truncate 3, but instead of adding something, we'll just keep it with the same two... Um, the same two positions, and see if maybe you know we can catch some stuff that doesn't have that this is a little brute forcey without actually doing a mask attack but um i mean it still kind of makes sense if somebody like prepended for instance uh numbers to a password if they start with like their birth year or something at the beginning um you know we can strip those off and then start replacing the first digit or the first character that comes after that Yeah, see that? We're still getting stuff. So one thing, one thing I keep seeing in here is there are a lot of passwords that are just digits. So this would be, to me, um, tells me that I need to go and brute force all of these, what is that, uh, six, seven, seven characters of digits. So after this one finishes, we'll see if we can do that because seven digits will be pretty quick. I mean, technically, we could probably even go out to 12, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the runtime looks like. Alright, so we're going to strip all this stuff off, and then we're just going to say uh, A3, and we only want digits for, we'll say, up to 8. And because there were ones that were less than 8, we're going to increment this as well. So we'll try 1 digit, then 2 digits, then 3 digits, then 4 digits. All right, so that was pretty quick, and that got us, what, almost 7%. So let's get rid of this increment, and let's do one more. Actually, who cares? Let's just go until it's going to take too long. So we're going to waste a little bit of time uh, going over the things we already went over, but it was fast enough that it shouldn't really matter too much.
I'm really going to keep getting faster as we keep cracking uh, hashes because it's less workload to do comparisons against. So what we should also see down here is our GPU memory is going to spike once the attack gets going because we've got all that stuff loaded into uh, into the video card's memory. This is kind of a good example of why Rocky was bad in some ways. Like, it, it, it's good, but you could trim all of this crap out because it's going to be rare that you're ever going to see a password that looks like this in in a dump today or, or in a during a pen test or something. Like, if companies had passwords that look like this, um, their building's probably on fire. Twenty-four percent, almost. I'll take it. But this also means twenty-four percent of this dictionary is crap. right so we're at let's see let's see what percent we're at so far so we're at almost 24 percent sorry almost 25 percent Uh, 
Well, that's what? 14 divided by 4 is math? So what these probably are, are spammer passwords, though, um, or automated accounts. So in a lot of ways, um, you know, like Twitter, for instance, or um, something, Reddit is a, would be a good one. When you're doing automated account stuff, you don't really care about the security of the, the account if all you're going to do is sit there and upvote each other or, you know, do retweets or, you know, maybe it's a Twitch bot or something like that. So these are, are likely, I don't know much about RockU, the site, other than the dictionary. I mean, it could be um, telephone numbers, but a five-digit telephone number, like we did have a lot of fives, six even. Yep, that's true. Asian countries where... Uh, Sometimes a sentence can be said in um, in a string of numbers, sure. I kind of want it to stop cracking so we can do something else. But you know what? I'm going to take them. What if, let's do, let's make a word list. We'll just use cool again. That's easy. Don't tell DT. I'm going to scrape defcon.org. So what are we doing? This is only so this is only twelve. Oh, this is gonna take thirty minutes. I don't wanna wait thirty minutes. Now we're only doing the default, so it's only gonna go uh too deep. It won't it won't spider too recursively. All right, screw that. I'm tired of waiting. 31 minutes to finish. I don't want to sit around for 31 minutes. Okay, but we're at 25%, so that's pretty good. Um, what else can we do? What if 
Oh, let's do the pathwell masks. And if you're not familiar with what the pathwell masks are, we will discuss those tomorrow. So this is the top 100 uh, topologies that were observed in corporate networks. Since we have a bunch of them, we'll just we'll just do this in a loop. Uh, yep, yep. A three in the mask, and then we'll call it done. Come on, you can do it. Okay. It looks like a pretty good result. So this is all going to be the same the same structure. So you see we've got one upper, what's that? One, two, three, four, five lowers and two digits. So that would be numbers, six, eight characters. So we're cracking eight character passwords in what's our runtime? Less than a minute and the entire attack is going to complete in about a minute. Oh, we're actually over 25% because we're missing, what, uh... 200 and yeah about 200,000 hashes out of this or no we're missing like 3 million so we're way over 25% at this point and we're only 40 45 minutes in so let's actually even uh let's take pack And we'll run pack against our cracks and generate some rules and then run some rules against our cracks and see what happens. Uh, let's actually pause this for a second and well, 
what do we call this? Pot.dict, I think. Yeah. And we're going to sort this thing before we do this anyway. So let's do, uh, what was that out file? It's like, no, it wasn't hashcat. It was rocku.out. We'll put those in there. And then we will do a uh, sort tag you pot.dict to pot.sorted. And then we'll move uh, pot.sorted to pot.dict. Such a lewd file name. Okay. So then let's go. We'll let this. We'll let this keep going. Uh, so we will resume this with R, and then let's do um, let's do mask. No, we don't want mask gen. We want rule gen. Uh, so, uh oh, I don't think pack is Python three. That doesn't look like it to me. We'll try it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Uh, apt cache search Python 2. Module named Enchant. Probably need to pip to install Enchant. We don't have. We don't even have pip. Oh no! It's all going to hell. What? Python 2 doesn't have... That was pip whl. No, let's do it. It, it, yeah, it ain't there, man. apt install py py on tag pip. We need to summon iFelix to port uh, pack to Python 3. We did it.
And what provides enchant now? Python 3 enchant, no Python 2 enchant. What happens if we do that? Oh, it's pie enchant. Be smart. There we go. Enchant C library. Okay. Lib enchant dev. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like they may have pulled it, but we're, we're working around it. Where are we at? Going, going slowly, but we're still going. Okay. Okay, we did it. All right, um, so we want to, we want to run stats gen on our dictionary. Uh, so that was pot.dict. We'll let it do its thing. All right, so we've got, so these aren't going to help us too much. I mean, they might, we could, we could probably run these um, and get something out of them, but we're kind of unlikely to, but that's a good example of extracting masks out of um, dumps that you are not dumps, but uh, cracks that you've done. So we could take these right here and put them in a new file and then start running them. But what I want to do is we have our analysis. No, we don't. Why do we not have our analysis? No, because we didn't output them, that's why. So let's write that to masks.out. All right, and then we'll feed that into mask gen. <laughs> I wonder what the math he based. So that's on a billion per second. I don't think we're going to be able to, I don't think we're going to be able to cover that in this stream. Let's do rule gen though. And we'll just generate some rules. Let's 
Excuse me? How does that work for mask gen, but not for rule gen? Was it stats gen that failed before? I don't even remember anymore. I guess I just forgot to redo it. Okay, uh, so let's take a look at our take a look at our options here. We can make that a little bit smaller. Um, take the defaults on everything. We're going through pack, generating some rules. We've cracked about, uh, I want to say, close to 30% of Rocky right now using nothing but masks, rules, and uh, passwords that we've cracked from those. Well, pack's going to take its sweet time because, you know, So pack needs to run through about four and a half million candidates, so this is going to take a little bit. So we'll let that run down there, and we'll let our pathwell mask keep running. <laughs> uh, the old Minga special. You know, we we have this card has like 13 gig of of uh, video memory. We'd probably be fine. Let's do it. I ain't scared. That dictionary just grew massively for pack, so oh well, it'll get over it. Okay. Uh, 
this. So we're going to do rocky.hash. And what do you want? You wanted the pot.dict. <laughs> G. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, here we go. So we're auto generating just shy of a million rules. And we're going to run that against every. What? Be... Because. Because I don't want to. What if there's. What if there is a. 65 character password in here. I want it. And I'm not going to get that with Taco. Why no W4? Yeah. That's a that that's a good question. Because I'm trying to run pack. That's why. I would like this box to actually remain accessible. Uh, I don't, you know what, dude? My, my armpits smell like free birds right now. It smells delicious. Nope, that, that's too cl Oh, uh, well, you're throwing prints in there. That's a little close to cheating. We don't want to use, we don't want to use Rock U to crack Rock U. That's kind of defeats the purpose. If we did that, imagine imagine Rock U just came out, right? Like we're all we're all fawning over the fact that we have 14.3 million hashes and we want to crack them. We wouldn't have that. We wouldn't know what rules Rock U was using. It's totally unfair. It's like walking in to do a pen test with a domain admin account and then claiming you own the entire network. Get out of here. Almost at 20, almost at 25. We can do it. You put on your Bon Jovi, let's go. It probably would have been smarter to write the cracks to a file, so this would go a little bit quicker, but uh, it's also a little less interesting because then you just sit there and look at a status screen updating every 20 seconds. See, but this looks like it could actually be an interesting mask to run. So we've got a big string of these. There's some with E. So let's try doing like a lower, a lower in six digits. So we'll do A3, we're gonna do lower. Two, three, four, five, six, and then just uh, just in case there's some that are maybe five, uh, we'll do increment, and we're actually going to write these to uh, 
Rocky dot out because this should run fast enough. It won't matter. Better. All right, so twenty five, twenty one. So we were definitely getting cracked. So we started at 2507, so we got, what, 14 or 0.14% out of that? Eh, it's not as good as I thought it would be. This is more, this one was more fun, actually. Let's not even do that yet. Let's roll our cracks back in. This is pot.dict. I'll sort you. Did that just say it's close to the end? We need to roll the old hashes back into though.
Dude, is this gonna finish? In nine hours? Oh my god. And nobody got time for that. Once pack's done, we'll... Actually, you know what? If I kill this, pack will go faster, so... We'll let pack do its thing, and then we'll... Run the pack rules. Now, you know what? I want to run... What was that? Lower... One, two, three... Did we already do this? I think we did. Let's do the in the opposite of that. So we've got this one, which seems to be a, doing a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lower. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lower. Uh-oh, do we break it? Hello? I think it's broken. We run out of memory because Pack is trying to do four million rules. Yeah. I need a sad trombone. Should have let back finish. <laughs> oh shit. Well, we didn't do too bad before we crashed. I mean I can't even I can't even scroll. Like this thing is this thing is toast. Um, so we did... What do we have here? 2.9, so we're at 3 million there, and then we trimmed out uh, about 3 million. So we cracked about... Well, I guess that would be almost 50% then, right? So we've cracked half of Rock U in an hour and 19 minutes using nothing but masks and uh, a couple word lists. I think we, we used the English dictionary, got a bunch of stuff with some hybrid attacks. Did some mask attacks with digits, because for whatever reason, Rocky has a million digit passwords.
No, this is it. I have to uh, Britney Spears for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, we're back. Pack did its thing. Really inopportune time, too, because I just shoved food in my mouth. Alright, so Pack went and took a look at all the words that we had in our word list, and I built a rule set out of that. And then it sorted that rule set. So we can take this analysis sorted.rule and feed this in on our um, feed this in using our pot.dict. We should get a shit ton of cracks. See what happens. Uh, pot.dict, uh, tech r, pack, analysis sorted, rule. No, and we don't have to cover those because uh, Hashcat defaults to MD5 as it's um, well, Hashcat, or yeah, it defaults to MD5 as the hash type, and since we're running MD5s, we don't need to worry about it. And because we're still doing dictionary attacks, we don't need to specify A because uh, the default value is to do a dictionary attack. So adding rules uh, to a dictionary is still a dictionary attack. It's just mangled by rules. I mean, at this point, we might just crack everything. I think I just saw my password fly by too. The hell's with the 727s? A bunch of Boeing fans that rock you.
Yeah, I saw that. Think so. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, no, that, if only that were the case. All right, so password.dict, and then we're going to run. Um, we're not going to run pack again because no. And we want uh, analysis rule sorted. I would laugh if this got nothing. <laughs> the kid did it. 2787. Yeah. Good work, Mingo. You got nothing. I don't know. It's only one word. Why would it have queued? Maybe because it split the workload? No, there's an R. Oh, wait. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed an R.
what was that? Two percent, roughly. Twenty-seven eighty-seven to thirty seventy-four, almost three percent. Now, what if? I don't want to do the whole thing because that's going to take way too long. What if? W-O-R-D. We'll do two to start. No, we'll do one to start. Forgetting all kinds of stuff. Probably should have done this as increment because these startup times are getting a bit ridiculous. Word pass. No one will ever guess. Oh, we're getting faster. We're up to 500 million, almost 500 million. Yeah, Drosap. Drosap's always a good one.
I mean, I did pretty good. Nope. So that doesn't matter because we already specified it here. Let's run it out a few more characters and see what it gets. Something that would have been smart is if we did the uh, the lowercase o, the uppercase o, and then a zero, and then for i we do lower i, upper i, and a one. <laughs> Run that file. Yeah, I did that. We ran the the top hundred pathwell masks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that. Dude, on a Tesla? <laughs> uh, no. All right, after this one, we'll run it. Well, that's going to take 10 minutes. I don't want to do that. <laughs> if you're <laughs> over there analyzing what the the fastest thing you can run to crack as much as you can, be disappointed. So what do we have? So we have A3 incrementing from a minimum of 8 with a runtime of 17 seconds. We have 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Now oh, this changed. Uh, yeah. Increment min. Yeah, the tools haven't been updated in a while, though. I mean, there there comes a point where um, 
you know, you get used to, or you've already generated the things that you need to generate, and you've already found other ways of doing something that you don't need to pull the tools back into it. Yeah, no, I, I still PW min. I mean, hell, I didn't even catch it when you typed it and typed it myself, so, you know. Uh, it's not cheating that much, because we're still running the attacks. Yeah, yeah, I know. But there's a very big difference between let's use the rules generated from Rock U against Rock U versus HC stat. Because you still have to base, you still have to get your baseline in before you do that. It is cheating. We, that's why we regenerated uh, we regenerated the rule set down here. Yeah, yeah. Oh no 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 no. But I'm done in about 30 seconds anyway, because it's 11 o'clock, and I want to take a break from sitting here. All right, so we did 4.4 million plus uh, math is hard. One four three four four three nine one minus. One one nine two five two five four seven two So for that's five point eight million. So we did just under fifty percent in an hour and forty minutes. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna blow this box away. That was fun. Uh, maybe tomorrow we can do something similar. I'll save the I'll save the cracks, but we'll see. Saturday night's gonna be crazy. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks, guys.